Ay, de Miners. Make it day, Bardock. Please. Ay. Well, it looks kind of nice, with, nice with the night, with the moon. Yeah, that's rising it. over there. Let's leave it night. Here we are in location at our traveling fairground or gypsy fairground. This is a nice little side project we're doing when we get bored of building massive builds, and we'll show you how it's going so far. When I started doing this, I thought to myself, well, what's the first thing you you need in a fairground? And I thought housing. Obviously, if, if it's a traveling fairground, you need to have the caravans where people traveling. So here we are. Carney. Carney folk. All those Carney folk. This is the original one I made, this color scheme. And then I MC edited. Yes, I cheated. I MC edited two other caravans. I changed this one so that it looks different. And now I need to change this one, which I'll do now. But first, I want to show you around a bit. This is the fire pit. I thought, let's be realistic here, you know, like, let's not use a nether block in the middle. Is it called nether netherrack, yeah? Netherrack. Netherrack. Let's not just use a netherrack in the middle, let's actually use some wood. So here you've got a pile, a stockpile of wood. These are benches, by the way. Here you've got a stockpile of wood, which you would have to cut in order to place into the fire pit. Once you have your fire pit, or your log logs in your fire pit, you set it alight and obviously it won't so burn forever go? yeah cut a bit oh cause. i was gonna cut cut a bit here like with my golden axe yeah got, cut this a axe bit. is inspired inspired by golden axe the game golden axe yeah so yeah chop a little bit off and then let's put it into the fire i just put yeah, it out you can't place it on <laughs> top that's obvious you have to place just it suffocated it but look yeah it, it got lid again I didn't press it or anything the fire spread so yeah you rekindle the fire from time to time that way it lasts longer the idea behind all of this is to eventually have maybe roller coasters maybe big tents with I don't know stalls and that sort of thing maybe markets and to have interactive games like here we have the dunk the bardock jumps the Dunk the Bardock oh, Jones. So I'm gonna be So I'm gonna be the Yeah. The test subject here. You stand on the line, throw the object. Crap and Yeah, I'm not in the hole now. <laughs> yeah, well, we've got to improve, these are just prototypes. So yeah, dunk the Bardock Jones. Then you've got the again, this is just decoration, sort of a totem pole sort of thing. This is just again a little prototype, it's not even finished, it's just an ongoing idea. You can actually, with a bow and arrow, where are you Bardock? There. With a bow and arrow, arrow you can actually hit uh, switches, wooden switches, wooden uh, switches, no, buttons, sorry, wooden, wooden buttons. Switch. And they trigger off whatever's connected to it. So I don't know, I don't know exactly what I want to do with this, but we could maybe use it so you have to hit three buttons you've got three shots hit three buttons and you get some prize coming out of a dispenser or something do oh. pistons push heads up i'm not i don't think so not to get on that well uh jeb or dinner bone or whoever get on that because because i want to do like a whack-a-mole yeah yeah i i thought of that or the th or you know those games where you shoot and like those cowboy games where you shoot and something pops out and then you have to shoot that. Yeah, yeah those pirate things. The pirate things. So now what I want to do is change this caravan so it looks different from the others. And for that I'm using wool. The main body, the main body of the caravan is wool, and the roof of the caravan is wool as well. <laughs> So here for the final touches we've got some photo frames 
with different stuff inside. Here you've got nether, nether star and some flowers. So now what we have to do, here you see you've got some moss thing, some vines and some more flowers. Here what we have to do is think of what looks good on this particular. An Antonio Banderas love doll. Material, where? Uh, Antonio <laughs> Banderas love doll. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah, we can keep that. So what you do, you... It's pretty simple. Don't even have to explain this. It's self-explanatory. Get your item frame. Just follow the pattern I did here. Because I want to keep it all the same. All the way around. All the way around here. So that's it. The interior will stay the same. Don't need to change yeah. this. You can add different um, plants and stuff if you want to make them diff yeah, different. Yeah, different decorations. Really. You know, the chests, you've got some leather tunics, some shears, flints and steel. This one's empty. Because the season hasn't started, this will be full of money once the actual fair opens. For sure. Full of money. Money, money, capoos. How yeah. about this for an animal? That's how that's, does that? That's looking that's pretty an, animalistic. Animalistic. <coughs> Hello, Astral. Hello. I am a camel, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. Our little, the beginnings of our little traveling fair. We might even make it wider because. I didn't expect these caravans to be that big so we might make the area wider so eventually they'll be working stuff working roller coasters as I said and working games and you can enjoy a bit of everything in here so see you in the next episode we'll keep you updated hope you've liked it and yeah subscribe show us the love give us some comments some encouragement thank you for watching Bye bye. Hasta luego, amigos.